the Giga Chad's guide to installing Arch Linux. So first of all, you want to get your Arch Linux setup ready, and then you want to go to the Arch Wiki and then listen to every step. No, <laughs> no, this is actually this is actually the loser way of installing it. I'll tell you why. Because the Giga Chad, the true Giga Chad, why do they want to install Arch? Because they want to do work. They want to do work more efficiently. So maybe you'll get some normie advice like, oh, you need to load up the, the live CD and then, you know, go through the whole installation process of typing out these commands. The thing is, it's genuinely kind of a waste of time. Like, sure, you learn a bit, but you're not really understanding anything else typing in the commands. I kind of just passively learn. It really doesn't matter. You'll learn either way. If you, if you really care, you'll learn. But all you have to do is you type in Arch install, okay? It's essentially a, a script and it works. It, it kind of does everything for you. You know, nerds will tell you, oh, you installed Arch Linux the wrong way. You didn't properly install Arch. Who cares? <laughs> because most of these people who are, are nerds that are going to tell you this, they only get a sense of superiority from the fact that they installed. Like, again, all you're doing is copying commands and typing it out. You're not, like, better or cooler than someone if they installed it through the Arch install script. But this is this is how I installed Arch Linux last time. So you just, okay, language, yep, English. Okay, uh, mirror region, I'm in, uh, I'm in Australia. Okay, yep, drives, uh, yep, yep, use that. But after you select your drives, you can select your disk layout. And, um, you know, you can do followed by partition usage. You could do this and then create a new partition and do all this, suggest a partition layout. You know, you can mess around with this if you want. Um, how I would do it, honestly, if you can. Wipe all. EXT4. Yeah, why not? And boom. Done. What else do you need to do? Encryption password? No. Yeah, let's do grub. Let's do... Yep, let's have a swap. Why not? You know, let's have the host name be Arch... Arch... Arch machine. You know, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, root password. Let's have no root password. Why not? Be a giga chat, you know. <laughs> Enter username. Giga Chad. Um, password for Giga Chad is Giga Chad. Should Giga Chad be a pseudo? Yes, because this is Giga Chad. Confirm and exit. Boom. You know, it really is that easy. <laughs> uh, profile. Okay, so here, and this is the amazing thing. Is it already, you know, how do you want to install it? If you install Arch normally, you'll get a minimal setup. But you can install with a desktop environment or you can like really however you want. When I first installed Arch, I installed it for a virtual machine like here. And um, essentially all I did was I went to desktop and I installed KDE. We're gonna go for KDE. We're gonna go, we'll go for KDE. KDE is what I started. It's fine. It's a good, it's a good desktop environment. It has a lot of customizability. If you're going from Windows, it's probably a pretty smooth transition. So yeah, um, yeah, all open source, why not? Uh, kernels, so you can install the hard in Linux or the LTS. You know, we'll, we'll go for AT LTS. LTS means um, long term, long term support, long term support. So it's a, it's a little bit more stable. I don't know what Zen is. Though, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so here it's asking for packages we want to install. So let's install Firefox. Let's install Vim. Uh, what else do you need? <laughs> um, and yeah, this is genuinely the easiest way. This is how I did last, and it works. It sets up everything correct and fine. Um, time zone. Yep. Yep. Optional repositories. Uh, let's not, let's not. And, uh, all we do from here is so you can save your config. So you can even make this easier. You can save a config. And then I think you run that or it goes to that config and boom, it just installs the exact same profile each time. You know, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll build their own Arch Linux script where instead of typing the commands, it all does it by itself and, you know, installs all the programs. This is just that plus, you know, additional layers. So this is the way I'd always do it. Don't, don't do it the, oh no. Oh no, I'm, I'm such an idiot. And again, like what I don't understand is like a lot of people will think that Linux is about how much pain you can inflict on yourself. It's like, yeah, like how, how hard can I make every my life by using this? But it really shouldn't be about that. It should be, about how can I use my computer as productively as possible. Okay, and then once you got your setup done, install. Press continue. 
it just it runs everything it's a script <laughs> um and yeah that this is this is the giga chadway this is the giga chadway and if you're interested in arch linux this is the way you should do it i might make a video on how to do it the the loser way <laughs> how i did it maybe explaining a bit more i think i already made a video about what i wish i knew before installing arch linux and i was talking about the original method without using the arch install script but yeah, honestly, there's nothing else really to it. This is the way I think everyone should install Arch Linux. I really don't see why you would want to install it the other way besides Flex, like genuinely Flex, like, oh, I did it like this way. Like, it really, who cares? But yeah, um, I'll be back in a moment and we'll have a fully configured desktop. All right, and it's done, I think. Um, yeah, easy. <laughs> now we type reboot. And we should have a fully downloaded, installed desktop environment. Okay. All right, now you should basically have a whole Linux system customized. You should have a whole Linux setup ready. And yep, <laughs> we've got the GigaChad profile and the password is GigaChad. And There we go. <laughs> In less than 20 minutes, you can have a whole new operating system with, you know, only free and open source software used. So um, I don't know if this is 100% false, probably isn't, but it's a lot better. You know, at least now I know that I'm not being spied on <laughs> by Windows and, you know, whatever. But there you go. That It's, as, it, it's that easy to install. Um, it's really that in that easy to install Linux, you know, you got Firefox and boom, you're ready to go. Um, yeah, it really is not that hard. Please don't install, like, look, if you installed Arch Linux the other way and you think what I'm telling people is heresy, then tell me why, tell me why, comment below why it's better to install it the other way. <laughs> because frankly, I don't see it at all. I think, you know, why make life harder for you? You know, once you installed Arch, once you install KDE or whatever, you know, window manager, or, you know, whatever you're using. Download the programs you need, customize it in the way that you need to, and then get to work. <laughs> Start getting back into the rhythm of how you used to use your computer productively. Because again, at the end of the day, computers are used for productivity. They're used to accomplish goals. So if a computer can't do that, then it's kind of, it's kind of not a computer. You know, it's kind of not really doing what it's meant to do. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video can be informative to you guys. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.